This is a gun old hunting lodge of the Inglay family. Imagine the Maharajas sitting here in this environment discussing their safari and their next hunt. Welcome to the master bedroom where history whispers through the walls. This 125 year old hunting lodge wears its age with pride. Those walls, they've seen it all. Royal hunts, whispered secrets. It's here that Rajshri Sahu Maharaj of Kolhapur rested after a weary day's chase. to the Radhanagri Forest Reserve. And guess who's the star of the show here? The bison. Besides the bison, there are other creatures like the elusive mouse deer, the nocturnal pangolin, sambar, and even a couple of sloth bears have been spotted. Then there's bird life, the Sri Lankan frog mouse, and the Malabar whistling thrush.
Now the Radha Nagri Forest is part of the UNESCO World Natural Heritage Sites. It's part of the Sahyadri Hills. It's a very fragile ecosystem. Five tributaries of the Krishna River flow right through this. By declaring it an eco-sensitive zone, the government is doing its bit to protect it. And isn't this view worth preserving? Yeah, good. Welcome to Radhanagiri Wildlife Sanctuary. This was once the hunting ground of the Maharajas, but times change, and with it, they made this into Maharashtra's first wildlife sanctuary in 1957. It's thanks to their testimony and their vision that this place has been preserved for us. There you are. Don't just shoot them to me. there again. So we are back in Ekan after a day spent at the Radhanagri Wildlife Sanctuary where we saw the bison, a rare bird, a Malabar giant squirrel playfully in, romping in the upper branches, a variety of birds, the jungle fowl, the wood pigeons. We went around the backwaters, the Radhanagri Dam over the Bhogavati River and now here we are having tea under the spreading branches of this beautiful property which still echoes with the footsteps of royalty.
And so, my fellow adventurers, until our next journey, take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.